While our economy is improving, more and more folks are finding jobs, middle class wages are still stagnant, and the working poor are living in poverty. So, Governor, I applaud you for stepping up with a smart, reasonable plan. The single most rapid and important thing that can be, we can do to deal with wage inequity and start this virtuous cycle is what the governor did today, raising the minimum wage. The higher it's raised, the more impact it has immediately on the lives of individuals. When, when the minimum wage becomes $15 an hour, more than 135,000, as we mentioned, fast food workers in New York State see a raise. But you know what the total of that raise is? The governor knows. It's $1.8 billion. And here's what happens. Here's what happens. It not only means the difference between living in poverty and having a chance, all that $1.8 million gets spent because you have to spend it to keep up. It's not like giving a $1.8 billion tax to the wealthy. They put it in the bank account. They don't spend it. You spend it. We know the boosting minimum wage has a rippling effect on the entire wage scale benefiting workers with wages up to 50 percent higher than minimum wage. So you get a minimum wage working at one of the fast food outlets, guess what? The manager's salary goes up. Everybody's salary goes up.